How's it going everyone? In this video today, I'm going to be showing you all how to downgrade your iPad first gen from iOS 5.1.1 back to iPhone OS 3.2. And iPhone OS 3.2 was the first operating system that came out with the iPad first gen. And all you're going to need for this tutorial today is a Mac running Mac OS X 10.11.16 or below. And that's because the applications we're going to be using today are much older, hence the older iPad and they don't run on newer versions of Mac OS X. And you're gonna need your first gen iPad and you're also gonna need a 30 or 40 pin connector, I honestly forgot what these are called, to connect your iPad to your laptop. And one other thing I should mention before we continue is that this is only a tethered downgrade. And what tethered means is every time your device is restarted, you're gonna to need to plug the iPad back into your laptop and you're gonna to have to open up Red Snow in order to boot back into iOS. But with all that out of the way, we can now begin the tutorial. Now the very first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to click the first link in the description which will bring you to this iPad first generation downgrade kit on Google Drive and this contains all the files we're going to need today in order to downgrade our iPad. Go ahead and click download all and then save it to somewhere easy to access, extract the zip and then drag it to your desktop so that it's easy to use. Once it's on your desktop go ahead and double click on it to open it up. And inside of that folder there you should see two folders, one called boot and another called downgrade files and inside of boot there should be two files and then inside of downgrade files there should be four and it's to look exactly like this if they don't look like this let me know down below and I'll make sure to fix my folder and once you've successfully downloaded all these files here we can now begin with the real tutorial now the first thing I always recommend doing before messing with the different iOS versions on like different Apple devices is just giving your device a fresh restore and this helps to minimize like any errors or issues and all you need to do in order to restore your device is go ahead and plug it into your laptop with a 30 or 40 pin adapter. Once your iPad's been connected, it should show up in iTunes. And if you've never connected to your laptop before, it's just going to say set up your new iPad. I'm going to click set up as new. And depending on the version of iTunes you have, it should, it should look pretty similar to this. You're just going to want to look for summary and then you're going to want to look for restore iPad. And in order to restore your device properly, you're going to want to use the IPSW file that I provided in my Google Drive folder. And to select that IPSW file, you're going to want to hold option while clicking restore. And then this will give you the option to select the IPSW rather than using apples. So then just find the folder called iPad first gen downgrade kit, go to downgrade files and then look for, for iPad 5.1.1 and then IPSW after it and then click open. And then it's going to say iTunes will erase and restore your iPad back to iOS 5.1.1 and will verify the restore with Apple. Just click restore. And it's now going to go ahead and restore your device for you. And this process here will take five or ten minutes. And if your device has been successfully restored, you should see a generic iPad screen and it's going to ask you to set up your device. But we're going to be restoring iPhone OS 3.2 on it, so there's no reason to set it up because it's just going to be erased again. And if you're prompted with a screen like this, just go ahead and press set up as new iPad and then continue. And then click get started. And here we are again, now with a fresh install of iOS 5.1 though. And then, like I said before, this should just help minimize any errors. But now we can get to the more in-depth part of installing iPhone OS 3.2 on your iPad. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to locate Terminal, which can be found by going to either Finder, Applications, Utilities, and Terminal, or opening up Launchpad, going into your Utilities, and then opening up Terminal. And once you're in Terminal, you're just going to want to type CD space and then locate your iPad first generation downgrade kit folder and then look for the folder downgrade files. Click that and then drag it over into terminal and then press enter. And now you're locked into that downgrade files folder. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to type period slash ireb and then press enter. And now you're going to want to put your device in a DFU mode. And at first, this can be a little challenging, 
but once you do it a few times, you'll get the hang of it. So all you have to do, you're gonna to wanna to power off your device. So hold the power button as usual, and then slide to power off. And now you're gonna to wanna to hold the power button for just about four or five seconds. One, two, three, four. And then hold the home button at the same time. Don't let go of the power button. And then hold this for another 10 seconds. And then let go of the power button and just keep holding the home button. And as you can see, that was successful because now in our terminal window, it's now saying you may now restore to a custom IPSW within iTunes by holding the option key and left clicking the restore button, which is like what we did earlier. And iTunes is also warning us that our device has been detected in recovery mode. You can just press OK on that. Now open up iTunes. And then like before, just hold option and then click restore iPad. And in here, you're going to want to look for the folder downgrade files once again, but this time you're going to want to click on the iPad 3.2 IPSW file and make sure it has the words IDEX grade in it because this is the one we'll install onto our device. Then go ahead and press open. And it's now going to go ahead and extract the software onto our iPad once again. And this process here is also going to take about five or 10 minutes. And if that iPhone OS 3.2 installation was successful, you should now see that your iPad is in recovery mode. And recovery mode means it looks something like this. And this is similar to what I was talking about earlier about how you can't boot your iPad without the use of Red Snow, which I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do now. So you can go ahead and close out of iTunes. And now what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to open up the iPad first gen downgrade kit folder again. And then under boot this time, double click Red Snow. And if it asks you for permission to open, just click open. And what we're gonna do here is it's asking us to select the iPhone OS 3.2.2 IPSW file. And to do that, just click browse, locate the iPad first gen downgrade kit folder, and then click boot this time. And then you're gonna wanna select the iPad 3.2.2 restore IPSW, not the IDEX one. Make sure you select this one. And then it's going to process the firmware. And if you did it all correctly, it should be it should be just fine. It should say IPSW successfully identified, and then press next if so. And now it's going to ask us to select our boot options. And for this tutorial, we're just booting it tethered. We're not installing City or any of that right now. So simply select that and then press next. And now it's going to say, make sure your device is off and plugged into the computer. And for some reason, when the device is in recovery mode, it tends to not like to be turned off sometimes. So we can do this without turning it off too. It's just fine. And once we click next, we're just going to have to put it back in the DFU mode again, which is like what we just did a moment ago. Press next then hold the power button for three seconds. Now hold the home button as well. And while holding both down, just release the power button and keep holding the home button. And if you're successful, it should now say jailbreaking and your device should boot in a moment. And now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna see that it's gonna ask you to connect to iTunes. So simply plug it in your laptop and then open up iTunes and here's where you'll set up your iPad. Just click set up as new iPad, and then press continue. And then press get started. And your iPad is now on iPhone OS 3.2. As you can see, iPhone OS 3.2 is very bare bones. Swiping to the left literally just gives us a search function. And these are the only apps that came pre-installed. And if you guys found this helpful, please do feel free to let me know down in the comments below. and. If you want, go ahead and leave a like. And as always, I am here to answer your questions, so leave a comment for that too, I guess.
But thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you again in another video.